How you doing? Bob Brown again. Well, all I can say is it's a hot day outside. Today's not a training day, so I find myself making a lot of videos that people have been asking me questions for and I've just kind of put them off. So this one is going to be about uh, loading and not loading, you know, and why. Uh, well, in my opinion, why? So what I mean by loading is when people start to give back pressure before the go. Uh, of course, you know, you need to start in the center of the table before the go. So the reality is if one guy puts his hand in the center of the table and doesn't want to load, well, then the guy who wants to load isn't really going to be able to because as soon as he loads, he's going to back pressure the guy who doesn't want to load off center and you, the ref won't allow that. So, uh, you know, I always tell people if the guy doesn't want to load with you, but you like to load, well, at least tense your arm up. Don't just be there loose, you know, tense a little bit, so you're ready. But in my opinion, the reason to load or not to load, I mean, top roll guys, I would say generally like to load because they wanna get pressure on their opponent's fingers before the go, so then they can try to fold back the wrist because that's how you inevitably fold back a wrist or one way is, you get pressure on the hand, and then the wrist follows. So that's why they want to load. Now, some guys don't like to load, so they maybe they're a hooker, and they want to not load, they just wanna be in the center, and then on the go, shoot the hook in, just twist the wrist really fast before the back pressure guy can, can really hit their fingers. So, you have hookers that don't necessarily want to load. Mm -hmm. But then there comes the other thought process of, of speed, reaction time. You know, the, the uh, what is the, uh, the saying, science equation, things in motion tend to stay in motion, things at rest tend to stay at rest. Mm -hmm. So how I interpret that for arm wrestling is if you want to be lightning fast off the go, well then you don't want to load because you're, everyone's got to be stopped and then ready, go, and you can move much faster from a no load. Especially if you're a top roller and you want to give pressure, but ultimately you want to go sideways. So you're already trying to move this way, you've already got your movement coming this way, coming back, and then when they say go, you need to stop the back pressure or minimize the back pressure and start the hit. So, in my opinion, the reaction time from changing from back pressure to side pressure is slower. Um, and I think, you know, people are that no load just want to fire real hard and hit. That's one reason they want to no load. Uh, so, you know, to me, that's kind of, that's kind of the reason, you know, what I have found in my experience over the years and, you know, generally speaking, there's different stuff, but guys who like the top roll, like to have that pressure. They like, they like to load, um, and guys who hook, they don't necessarily want to load. They just, they want to just snap it in really fast. Uh, top roll guys that are just blazingly fast. I've seen them just be right in the center, ready, go. And they hit straight sideways really fast. And if you're tensed up to go sideways, I actually think there's a, a time delay between releasing your tenseness to then go sideways versus just being loose and going sideways. I mean, it's milliseconds, you know, it's how fast you can think, it's reaction time. But 
that's basically the difference between loading and no loading. When I lived on the East Coast, in the AAA, you know, back in the 90s, back in the 80s, oh man, everyone was full blown loading at 100% before the go. I mean, it was, it was crazy, but that's what I was used to. I, I didn't have any, you know, I just kind of got used to that. That's what I learned. Well, then I moved out to Utah in 93. So that, you know, that must have been 80s and very early 90s. So then I come to Utah in 93 and all of a sudden I'm having to go against guys that don't load. And it was really weird. I go to load on them and they just release. And it, it was a real problem for me. Um, and I had to learn what to do against someone not loading because I was, I don't think I was ever particularly fast. I don't think my reaction time was ever particularly good, especially going sideways. I mean, by the time I moved out here, I had already popped my elbow a couple of few times and I was a little nervous about firing sideways. My, I didn't think my hook was all that great. So I learned to just hit backwards. So on the go, instead of hitting sideways for speed, I started hitting backwards for speed. And uh, that helped me deal with the hookers that would no load, and man, they would snap me into a hook so fast, and it was, it was a problem. So I started, because I was always hitting this way, and I was just getting snapped into a hook. So that's when I decided, okay, I need to do something different, and I started hitting backwards from a no load i'll hit backwards uh if the guy will load with me i'll load a little bit but if he doesn't then i'll hit backwards so there you go i hope that answered your question uh i kind of forget who asked it but uh there you go have a great day